property. Um, so, nevertheless, uh, the mayor of the great city of Chicago uh, will talk about the plan. Uh, Richard M. Daly, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, this is a community of uh, bungalows and two flats. Uh, historically, always immigration into this community. Uh, they're well built, constructed brick homes, majority of them. They're frame homes as well. And so this has always been a working class community, immigrant community, uh, since its inception. And so we're very proud here to be here as well. Uh, we have worked very hard to make all of our neighborhoods a better place to live, to work, and raise a family. Since 1989, the city of Chicago has invested about $4 billion in local, state, and federal money to create, improve, and maintain more than 170,000 units of affordable housing. We successfully fought for property tax relief for seniors, long-time uh, homeowners, and others who need, who need it to be able to stay in their homes. Improving the quality of life, of course, are schools, libraries, parks, police, fire stations, alleys, uh, streets, uh, sewers, all the things that go into complete infrastructure. We anticipated the foreclosure problem many years ago, began to address it. The city's foreclosure prevention program has served as national models, providing counseling and others to help thousands of residents. Unfortunately, uh, uh, foreclosure keeps moving on, uh, getting bigger and bigger each year and every month, unfortunately. And now it's going into uh, basically working families. One who's been laid off now can't reach the mortgage payments. And that would be a serious crisis, not only in Chicago, but in the metropolitan area as well. We have fought to break the rights of renters in foreclosure, and everybody forgets that renters many times lose out just as much as a homeowner. We have used more than $60 million in federal economic stimulus money to help return vacant buildings to productive use. And that's a big question dealing with abandoned buildings, vacant buildings. They're in the court procedure, and it's two, two years closure in Illinois it becomes more of a problem and uh, people we are concerned about that working with banks as well as maybe with legislation and keeping that American dream alive to own a home was always the key America was to eventually own your own home and one thing if you invested in a home the value would always been there but again we've seen the value uh, depreciate by 50 percent or more and that has been the problem the value of real estate depreciates uh, that is the concern that all of us have. How do you bring value back to anything? Today we're talking about a program that has been doing uh, uh, just what I wanted to share, a proud moment with a woman who's about to move in this home as a first-time homeowner. Uh, uh, Teresa Diaz, for welcoming her uh, today, she become the owner of this house. She has been in the CHA Housing Vouch Chicago Choice Voucher Program for 10 years. Has led the dream of home ownership in this recession. How you think of that? You talk about something exceptional. That this is exceptional uh, that someone's moving into their home. She began participating in the Chicago Housing Authority Choose to Home program, which helped those with federal housing vouchers to make the transition from renting to owning. This program allows participants to set aside part of their federal housing voucher towards a future home ownership, which is the key. I mean, you think of just setting aside. It uses community partnership to provide a comprehensive support network that includes financial assistance, home buyer education, credit counseling, and other services to help families navigate the process, increase the chances of success as homeowners. She is the uh, 300 person to, to close on a home uh, purchase to choose to own, and no active CTO participants are in foreclosure. Now that is remarkable. Underli underline that none of the 300 people are in any foreclosure uh, crisis. That's a pretty amazing in our current economic condition. It's a real testament both to the CHA, to both of the program, the CHA voucher holders who have taken part of it because that has been their dream. Especially in these difficult times, all of us must work hard to help more people in more communities remain in their home. And that's where we're actively seeking help and assistance from the banks. Once a home becomes vacant and abandoned, that has a huge effect upon the block, a huge effect upon the schools and everything else. You see one, two, three, four, or five abandoned buildings. So programs, Tax Smart program, which provides annual tax credit to qualify home buyers to reduce their federal income tax, <coughs> city lots for city living, which allows developers to purchase vacant city-owned property for affordable housing activities. And the big question is whether or not someone can build a new home. 
because if you build a home and the value is cut in half by 50%, it's hard to build a home. And so that's why we're looking at more of the foreclosed homes that move people in. And so that has become the economic crisis in America. Is your home worth what you build? And that, is a ma and that has become a major problem uh, for banks, and as well as for, uh, people who want to build new homes. New Homes for Chicago provides purchase price subsidies to moderate income buyers and low cost lots of developers. Again, if you keep reducing and reducing it, then what is the value of the new construction? If you build it for 300000 they value it at one fifty. That is not a good investment for anyone, and that's what we're concerned about. The Emergency Housing Assistance Program, which uses CDGB money to make emergency furnace roofs and porch repairs for low income families. The TIF Improvement uh, Program uses finance to help homeowners make exterior improvements, which are important. Uh, the roofs, the, the, the walls uh, of buildings and things like that outside, which is really important. Again, many of these programs uh, uh, we're working on, uh, but the housing crisis is much more difficult than anybody could ever, ever conceive, not just Chicago and the metropolitan area in the nation. That, that is something until the economy, we fix that, and it's we are struggling with the economy. And that is the major problem that America has. Thank you. Lewis? Good morning to all of you. And welcome to the new home of Teresita Diaz. Only a short time ago, home ownership was nearly unthinkable for Ms. Diaz, who was then renting an apartment with the Housing Choice Voucher Program. The city of Chicago, led by the mayor, launched this innovative homeownership program to provide needed housing that is affordable to all Chicagoans who have embraced the American dream of home ownership. <laughs> the CHA is a proud administer of the program that provides homeownership education, credit counseling, and other services to help our voucher families navigate through the process of, of home ownership. Before we introduce the new uh, homeowner, the 300th homeowner in this program, I'd like to also introduce some other participants. We have three other participants who completed the program. We have Reginald Moose, who bought a home in 2009. We have Erica Robinson, who's going to close shortly. And we also have Charlene Jones, who recently purchased her home. Let's give them a hand. individuals who, who believed in a process. They came to us saying that they had a vision of owning a home and through the work of CHA and other partners we were able to help them gain the necessary education and the wherewithal to come into home ownership. And now without further ado I'd like to introduce our 300th homeowner, Ms. Teresita Diaz. dream come true for me. Um, I want to thank uh, C -C -C -H -C -H -A for all their help. And one thing that I would say, I would encourage anyone to participate in this program. It is an awesome program, a wonderful opportunity. And I'm looking forward to living in the South Side. I grew up in the North and the West, and now it's my opportunity to, to be in the South Side. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Well, I think that's the whole idea. It's not, it's not just a voucher program, but if you put X amount of money set aside every month on it, then the whole thing is is not to keep people on vouchers, eventually get into a home. 